Hey everyone, welcome to episode five, the final push to get Project Aloha finished. And uh, yeah, it's coming along really nicely. Just walk through, I'm gonna show you that, but uh, got a lot of wood. <laughs> it's for the uh, barn door that we do for the um, bathroom and as well as the baseboards around the base of the wall. So yeah, it's been a couple weeks since I've been out here. We were gone to San Jose for just under a week and then we had the Tropical Storm Bonnie go over. So the guys were actually building the cabinets in a shop just because of the rain, they wouldn't be able to do it here. Um, and then they transferred them over and they just painted them out here. So you can see there's one of the drawers there. But yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, inside now with a little bit of B-roll. So yeah, the gray on the cabinets turned out really nice. So again, it's always hard to tell in pictures and video and stuff how it's gonna work out. Um, the other thing we've been doing too, which we usually do in the beginning, but this time we didn't just cause no reason, <laughs> is uh, they're, they're digging the septic right now. So the deep part is two meters deep with the largest, um, it's a concrete cylinder. They call them Alcantarenas here. And uh, so that's where everything will get dumped into and then it'll flow into a drainage field with the um, pipe that's got the holes in it. And then the like bigger rock around it sort of uh, flows better into the ground. But yeah, that's how we do the septic. It works well. We've never had an issue with ours. We got, we have double tank in ours cause we got the rentals, but just for single unit homes, we do one tank and it's enough. Eventually, if you use enough toilet paper, which we do build, that you can use toilet paper. Um, you probably need to get it flushed out, but I mean, it, it decomposes as well, as long as you're not putting a lot of bleach down there and killing the bacteria, most of it will decompose and then you won't have to worry about it. So yeah, that's it for the update for today. Yeah, I think it's maybe, hoping a couple more weeks and then it's done. Um, it's been a little bit longer than expected, just weather wise, and it is a little bit bigger with the bump outs and stuff like that. But we're getting very close and yeah, it's, it's cool to see the cabinets in now and get a good feel for that. All right, so another week, another update here at Project Aloha. The uh, guys are working on the countertops. I'm gonna show you that as well as the septic is all complete now. So. Uh, positioned it so if the ladies decide to turn this into a in-law suite or a mother-in-law suite or mother suite or whatever it ends up being um, then they could either tie into there or it's got enough room over here that we could do a separate one in the future so yeah lots of room for that so alexis is working on baseboards and the door frames around all the uh, doors for like the bedroom the um, laundry closet and the uh, pantry so those are getting worked on right now and they got the barn door up in the bathroom. So I'm gonna show you all this stuff. Uh, the updates are, yeah, we're getting super close to being completed on the inside and then they still gotta paint the outside uh, to the color that the ladies chose. So but they're also digging the trench for the electrical conduit from the post to the house to the breaker box. So yeah, let's go see.
Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another update. It's been a few days, so last uh, part of the video was on Friday. It's now Tuesday. Checking in on the guys. Leo is just starting to do the form for the countertop where the sink is. Uh, Alexis is building the concrete steps to get in. And uh, the doors are in and painted too. So yeah, just gonna show you an update here. That's Project Aloha. Welcome back to another update. We're getting very close to being finished. Uh, probably the next part will be the reveal actually. So this is kind of the, the last little section of this video to show you I'm still working here. So guys got the ACs up. We've got the shelf up in the closet right here. The bathroom is pretty much complete. The only thing missing is the uh, lights above there, just because they are hard to find. I think I mentioned that before. So the ladies are gonna bring those down. Um, they gotta put one more piece of wood here. Yeah, just little finishing touches. Stove and fridge is, the uh, fridge is here. Stove will be here uh, probably beginning of next week. And as you can see, they got the other AC up here. Kitchen's pretty much complete as you can see. A lot of room actually. I'm, liking how much room there is yeah, yeah there's like a lot of room here to prep and stuff like that sit and eat and uh yeah it's really cool to see how it's turned out and the view from the kitchen as they're prepping or whatever they're doing here the mounts in the background that's really cool so guys are hooking up the um, water filter right now i think we're still waiting for the paint for the outside so that's still got to get done and yeah just uh basically get almost complete then i'll go through and just say hey we gotta do this do that and uh little tweaks here and there all right guys it is finally time to reveal project aloha the finished product so exciting yes uh, the ladies are actually on their way here right now from hawaii they flew all the way to costa rica yesterday and uh yeah they're on the way to summer right now to come see their home for the first time it is honestly truly amazing what we were able to do with yeah, a 45 foot shipping container especially with the two bump outs yeah. that we did this is a perfect size home for a single person yeah. or a couple that doesn't want to blow their entire moving budget in Costa Rica on just their home and they yeah. have other things that they want to do for investments and stuff like that, where they're able to have something built for them brand new that's in their budget and very, very practical at the same time. Yeah, and a lot of times you're living outside anyway, so having a tiny home is perfect. We live in 700 square feet, but it's perfect for with us two as a kids. family. Yeah, with two kids <laughs> as a family of four. We spend a lot of time outside, especially now that we're doing the pool and stuff like that. So once they get like their landscaping and stuff done, they're gonna be outside most of the time. It's all anyway. about outdoor living. Yeah. yeah so um, we don't like to discuss pricing online just because of business purposes, but let's just say this is very affordable for people to have an amazing, modern, safe, sturdy home. You yeah. <laughs> they they just they just <laughs> arrived. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna do but a full have to have their arrival in yeah. the video. Look okay, at they're here. <laughs> All the way from Hawaii. Aloha. 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 Aloha, Vida. Aloha Puerto Vida. This is perfect. <laughs> we, we've actually never met them in person. We've only talked to them online, so this is cool. Because we're Be nice, Shana, because we are Bienvenido. We are your stalkers. Yeah. Bienvenido. It's so funny because we're like, we got to get...
Hey everyone, so this is a new segment now. The ladies, uh, Lucy and Sam, have been living here for a week now and they've done some shopping in Costa Rica, so they've outfitted their house. They also brought some stuff down with them from Hawaii, so like the handles, we couldn't find the proper ones here for the cabinets and the drawers. Uh, the island lights they brought because they found really nice ones, the pendants, and then also the vanity light. Vanity lights are really hard to find here. Uh, unless you go to San Jose, you might be able to find them better. So just going to do another quick walkthrough now that they got some furniture and stuff in here and show you how it is uh, as a home. All right, so that's the tour of their home. They've got the furniture in here. It has such a nice feel in oh, here with the, that stuff now in here. So yeah, we, we enjoy walking through now that you guys got all your stuff that you found here in Costa Rica. People say you can't find stuff in Costa Rica. You can find stuff. You made in it Costa feel Rica. very homey for yeah. sure. And the colors and everything you picked out are amazing. So I wanted to ask you ladies, now that you've lived in your home for a week, how do you feel in your container home? What are some of your favorite things? Yeah. And we love it. It's yeah. been it's been surprising. It's been um, had no idea what to expect <clears throat> living in a, a tiny home, but it's been excellent. My favorite part is the bathroom yeah. by far. <laughs> we, the shower floor came out excellent, but honestly, the whole thing, end to end, it's fantastic. We have pantry, we have laundry inside. We have more space than I ever imagined, really. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's, yeah, almost, it. it's almost more than we can use, honestly. <laughs> so we have to fill it up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you never think you could have a full-size fridge, a full-size washer and dryer, and actually have it in the house instead of where some <laughs> people think, okay, it's, house, it's not yes. going to fit. I have to put it outside somewhere, and it's going to get all right. rusty and moldy or something, right? So. Right. Yeah. And, and most impressive to me is how 100% of this was done remotely. Yeah. yeah. Like, we didn't have to be here for any of it. Anybody's thinking about going down this route. It's, <laughs> um, you know, you have the inspiration behind it and these guys are the magic, oh, awesome. magic Thank makers. Thank you so right? much. Yeah. 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 It helped oh, also yeah. that uh, you both are very, very great with uh, your timeliness and your communication. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and always being able to be available for us to talk to, send yeah. pictures of things that we were helping you pick out from afar right. and Even stuff that, like that. Was it so three, three in the morning three in, in Hawaii? Three, 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 uh, so I was giving her a heads up thinking maybe they're like an hour or two behind or something like that and Lucy's like Oh, no problem. I'm usually up at 3.30 in the morning anyway. So I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Go back. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She's like, no, no, no. I'm seriously usually up. I'm like, well, you're the right person for me to message at 3.30 in the morning, obviously. Yeah. So exactly. Right. But yeah, we just no problem. We want to thank you guys for trusting us to do this for you as well from abroad. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Yeah, so was enjoyable. Fun. Yeah. And 
and yeah, you guys were super, super yeah. amazing through the whole thing. And yeah. as for you guys, we're, we're blessed. We're very happy. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to be looking for another project um, once our pool is done. We might take a little bit of a break <laughs> from we construction. Might take a small break, but not, yeah. Yeah. But. We are going to be looking for another project and a container home, or we can do traditional built homes as well. Our guys built concrete houses before doing containers. This is something new for them as well, and they've they're getting really good at it. So it's it's that's cool. So yeah, we'll leave the video off here. To leave the series off here, it's complete. So if you guys like this series, if you like this video, yeah, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when we come with new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Aloha. Aloha. Bye Bye. Just cause you're lonely